Hey, what's going on guys? Devin here with Backcountry Exposure, as always. But today we're talking about gear that I take with me on the trail every single time without fail. Like these are go-to, very methodical, thought out pieces of gear that I feel like are important to what I need to have with me out on the trail. So I've got several items here in front of me that I wanna talk about. We're gonna discuss and explain why they are essential and very important items that I take with me every single time I go out on the trail. The first thing that I wanna talk about is a satellite communication device. This is something that not until a year, year and a half ago, I didn't really view as a total necessity until I started using one. Now I've got two different devices here. This is the Zolio device that is brand new to the market. And this is the Bivy Stick Generation 2. This has not yet hit the market, but will soon. I've been testing this for several, several months at this point. I'm very, very excited about both of these devices. They serve purposes differently, but they still accomplish the same end goal of being able to communicate with loved ones and friends and family, all that while you're out in the backcountry. Now, the reason that a satellite device is so important to me is it allows me to have a little bit more peace of mind when I am out in the backcountry. I've been doing a lot more aggressive types of routes. I've been doing higher mileage. I've been going into places that are off trail and I've been doing things that just organically and inherently have higher risk to them than some of the other trips that I've done in the past. And I'm going out solo more often. And so being able to give my wife and friends and family just peace of mind while I'm out there that I have some way to communicate when I don't have cell service is very important. The next thing that I wanna talk about shouldn't come as a surprise, but it is vital. And that is a good quality personal first aid kit. Now, first aid kits could be any kind of end of the spectrum of what you decide as the backpacker, as the hiker and the user of what you need in the backcountry. For me, I've got everything in here that I need and this is about a six, six and a half ounce kit that contains everything to take care of my personal needs out on a backpacking trip. Some people need more items, some people need less items. Just totally depends on your preferences, your medical training, your first aid training, and such. But absolutely, you should always, and I always, take a first aid kit on the trail because to me, it's an absolute no-brainer. Let's see, we'll go quick. We're gonna do this one really quick because this is not only related to backpacking trips, but it's also related to hiking trips, and that is a headlamp. You might be saying, well, Devin, that's obviously like, Duh, of course you're gonna bring a headlamp out on a trip. But when it comes to day hiking, for example, even though you might only be out for a few hours, this still always goes in my pack and I make sure that it is always charged and ready for a day out on the trail. You never know what's gonna happen. If I have to, for some reason, call SOS Search and Rescue with my satellite device, there's a chance that I'm gonna be there for quite some time and having some kind of lighting source for the basically no weight and space that it takes up in your pack, this is something that goes with me without fail on every single trip that I go on, day hike, backpacking trip, doesn't matter, a really good, reliable headlamp. Okay, so the next piece of gear is not necessarily something that has to be a requirement or is something that is totally necessary for being able to be comfortable and happy on a backpacking trip. But I will tell you that having a backpacking chair just makes a huge difference in your level of comfort and your ability to relax and just enjoy yourself a little bit more after a long day on the trail, long day of fishing, just whatever it is. A backpacking chair that is not very big, this is the Helinox, Chair Zero, super tiny, weighs just about a pound. And at this point, for how little weight this is, it makes absolutely perfect sense to take this with me on every trip. And ever since I got this, I have taken this on every trip and I love, love this chair. I have not taken other chairs 
on trips because they're heavier, they're a little bit more bulky like a Crazy Creek chair or other chairs that are similar in style and design to the Helinox. But this is so lightweight that I have been taking this with me without a doubt. It makes such a difference when I'm on the trail in camp and I'm just relaxing, cooking instead of sitting in the dirt. And if you are the only person that shows up with a group of friends backpacking and you don't have a chair, you are now the sucker that is going to be trying to find a way to sit in somebody's chair when they're not sitting in it. All right, the next piece of gear is actually several pieces of gear, and that constitutes a good and reliable layering system while you are out in the field. I can't just rely on the same pieces of gear of outerwear every time I go out. So depending on the weather that I'm going to be experiencing, every single time I go out, I really think through a smart and well thought out layering system for the conditions that I plan to experience, what my weather is going to be like, the season, all those things. So I've got an example here. And the first thing is gonna be some kind of base layer or uh, next to skin layer. So this could be an example. This is a very lightweight fleece. This is the Peloton 97 fleece from QU. Very lightweight and just provides good thermal regulation against the skin and is a great base layer. So this is almost a necessity and a layer that I take with me every time. Next in line on a layering system is gonna be a midweight layer. It could be a fleece like this, it could be a jacket like what I'm wearing here. This is the SL Atom from Arcteryx, but having some kind of midweight layer will allow you to uh, regulate temperature a little bit more and just change things for the conditions that you'll be experiencing. Now depending, especially if it's like a summer trip, for example, having a base layer, next skin layer, a midweight layer, and a puffy may not be necessary. And that's where it's like, okay, I'm really gonna think about what I'm taking with me for this particular trip, depending on the season, conditions, and weather that I plan to experience. But I almost always take a lightweight uh, down jacket with me because it is a no-brainer thing. It keeps me warm, it weighs like 10 to 13 ounces, depending on what jacket you end up getting and how much fill is in it, all of those things, but that is super important. And then in addition to that, my most outer layer, layer is going to be some kind of wind jacket or rain jacket or a combination of both. In this case, I've got the Birdhouse Hyper Jacket. This weighs like three and a half ounces, super lightweight. But this jacket is a necessity to protect myself against, against rain, and high wind and just break that wind, keep myself a little bit warmer when a down jacket just doesn't make sense for it being the weather that you might be experiencing at that time. So those are things that I take with me every single time, a really well thought out layering system. The last thing that I wanna talk about gear wise is preventative type of clothing and things that you wear on you. When you are out on a backpacking trip and just hiking, it's so important that you focus on taking care of your personal care. And some of that has to do with hygiene and taking care of the nether regions to make sure that you are preventing chafing and all of those things that can happen. And so what I'm talking about is first, having a good pair of socks. This is just a, a lightweight pair of Synthetic wool, uh, smart wool socks from smart wool. And these are really quick drying. They just help prevent blisters. Never wear cotton socks when you're out hiking. These are what you should be wearing. And so this is a preventative type of uh, clothing item because it helps prevent blisters. They dry fast and they don't stretch out weird like cotton does and so socks that are uh, a wool sock are really important. Next in line of preventative type of things is finding a pair of underwear that works for you and that has worked for me. I've gone through several uh, pieces of underwear. I've got three different brands here to talk about. And one of them has become the game changer for me in being comfortable on the trail. 
spoiler alert, I, I'll just tell you right now that me on the trail, I suffer from chafing a lot between my legs and it's just something that I've had to deal with and I've figured out what piece of underwear works for me the best and that is the company Saks. Yes, I'm showing you my underwear. <laughs> deal with it. But these have a really cool like pouch to them that separates stuff from stuff and keeps you really comfortable on the trail. I have not experienced chafing in the way that I have in the past from wearing these particular pair of underwear. So yes, I know that this does apply to men specifically, but for you ladies out there, it is important that you also find a pair of underwear that works for you and your body and your needs. These are the Ex Officio Give and Go underwear. Tried these for a long time. They were okay, not the greatest, and so I ended up switching from these to a pair from Arcteryx, which these fit really well and they are very supportive. They're very nice and happy on the trail, but they did not prevent or help prevent chafing. And that's when and where I found the Saks brand and these have been a game changer. So do what you need to do to find a pair of underwear that works for you. But this is a preventative type of, of clothing item that goes with me every single time because it helps me enjoy the trail a little bit more. Now the last thing that we're gonna talk about is a good solid, this goes into preventative items as well, but a good solid trail runner. And for me, the La Sportiva shoes, trail running shoes, have become a heaven sent for me. I absolutely love the Sportiva trail runners. Got a pair here, got a pair here, and I've got, I don't know, six or seven other pair of La Sportiva trail runners that I absolutely love. And so these go with me on the trail every single time because they're comfortable, they fit my foot, I have little tiny princess feet that are super narrow, and I needed a good narrow shoe that doesn't allow my foot to slide around a lot uh, like I get in some of the ultras, for example, too big for my foot. So this is a trail runner that I take with me every single time. So guys, there you go. That's all of the gear that I take with me every single time I go on a backpacking trip. And these are important items that provide me more comfort. They provide the ability for me to personally on my body, stay more comfortable and protect my body so that I can hike distances and not be holding people up or holding myself up. I've got the ability to communicate with family and loved ones and always stay connected that way. All those things, super important. So I really appreciate you guys watching today. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. I hope you have an awesome day. We'll catch you on the next video. See you later.